Hi, I'm gonna introduce myself, I'm Dino. So I wrote this script for Iggy Pop, and it was just called Iggy, and he played a 12-year-old kid, and I kind of modeled it after Leave it to Beaver. Oh, I'm gonna go use it right now. Good boy, son. Good boy. Do, 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 do. Uh, I sat with it for 10 years. I was actually on a comedy website, on a message board, talking to all my fans, which is like, I don't know, six, seven people. One of them suggested, uh, why not uh, make a cartoon out of it? The whole climate of uh, <clears throat> America at the time was, you know, very religious. And, you know, I'm just trying to be funny. I'm not trying to change the world here. Unless, you know, I'm talking to you now and the world has changed because of moral oral. And then, of course, I got Scott Adsit and Jay Johnston to be my right and left-hand men. One of the hands is a little weaker than the other. You guys decide who. This is the couch where I get my sleep on. And I have to replace it every week because I wear it out. That couch smells amazingly like Jay snores. <laughs> <laughs> Back to Scott. So, I'm hoping to involve uh, Jesus Christ our Lord and uh, a dinosaur. Because it's very sick and whoop, you see them together. What's the best way to find out what your wife needs to be happy? Well, I suppose the best way to know what any woman needs is to read about what other men think women need. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Why did that make me laugh? My kid, uh, Tigger, she plays Shapey. Shut up! Yes, Lord. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> she was actually telling me what I should write in the second season scripts. What's the line you want to say next season? Cake! Cake! <laughs> That's right. I'm going to put one of these through your Johnston. Then, when you're finally tall enough to drive it home, your good lady wife will be squealing like she's just won a year's supply of pantyhose. Wow! Thanks for testifying, Oral. You're dismissed. But I said you're dismissed. When I wrote it, I thought, okay, these scripts are really great. And then Jay and Scott and I rewrote them. So, uh, what's it like? It's a lot like this. Yeah, it is. What are we talking about? Uh. <laughs> I thought it was like the best work I've done. There's no way they're going to be as good as what's on the script, and they're actually ten times better. The animation's amazing. Jed Hathaway sets, which you'll see here in a second, are amazing. This is the church uh, that'll be downtown. It'll be the focus of the city. And what we've done is we've gone ahead and made duplicates of Sal's Corner Store, Forgetti's Pub, and the Blood Bank. Jed took pictures of some of the models. This model here he took a, pi a picture made it black and white, so it's like kind of like an old time picture of Moralton, and we'll hang that up in the bar. Oral uh, is a big Super God fan. And look, in the bar, there's actually a little miniature pinball machine, super good, and I love it. It's done so well. Another important set was the study, Clay's study. We wanted this to have a very ominous feel, something where Oral walked into kind of this large, ominous, dark room, lots of taxidermy, hunting items, guns, alcohol, of course. Uh, we have the liquor cabinet and the fireplace. I love little model kits and little miniatures. These little things, they kill me. My kid actually was raised on uh, Frankenstein dolls and she would walk around putting them to bed and kissing them. <laughs> Much like this. Hi Mike, what do you need? I'm bringing this back. Oh, okay. He doesn't really mean me. That's Mike, one of the animators. This is the scene where uh, Oral is shot by Shapey with a BB gun. And his dad is scolding him for waking him up on Sunday morning. <laughs> one part where Oral was uh, racing on a track. Do you want this track paved or is it a dirt track? And, uh, and then I remember saying, uh, uh, it doesn't have to be paved. Like, you don't have to pave it, don't take the time. And then, you know, of course I walk in on them and they're creating this dirt track from scratch. It probably takes them longer to make a dirt track than a uh, paved track. <laughs> <laughs> it probably does. <laughs> The idea for the opening uh, originally was to start 
with you know the world and go in and Scott went away and, and drew this. It opens of course with uh, uh, the clouds being parted by the hands of what we presume is God. Yeah, it doesn't, of course. Why don't you watch the oh, show? Oh, that's right. It opens with the earth. Yeah. First, here's our raw, our raw footage of the globe. Then the next thing we add is a star field, or actually space, a nice deep blue, and we add the stars in. And the next thing we need is uh, some clouds and some atmosphere. We just lay that on top. One of the jokes you put in the storyboard, which I think is amazing, is that America is just in the middle of the ocean without Canada or Mexico. When it comes into view, you see Earth uh, has the United States in it, but it's just the United States. It's kind of a statement about uh, Americentricity. <laughs> Independent from everything else is if like everything was moving away from it, and then they're going to zoom in and see uh, Moralton. I wanted to pinpoint exactly where on Earth, where in America the city was. We decided that it would be right in the middle. We certainly regret naming it State of Soda now. Do yeah. we really? No. Well, Dino and I do when we talk together alone. Yeah. <laughs> there we all kind of came up with a bunch of ideas for the opening. I think Scott decided that it would be cool to see God's hands part the clouds. So we've been working on the hands of God for the opening title sequence. And we took a cast of Scott's hands, one of the executive producers, and did a plaster cast. And now I've been dipping them in latex uh, to give them a little bit more of a cartoony look. We've got God's hands here. And um, they've just finished curing with the balloon latex. And now I'm gonna start airbrushing them. Uh, the idea of the birds coming in and then going closer. This is the master set of Moralton uh, for the opening sequence. We're building a miniature scale town. Uh, we have the center of town here. But right now we're just laying out the city blocks, getting our grid down. All roads in Moralton lead to the church. This is uh, the focus of the show and uh, the focus of the town. Yay! But we decided to go ahead and actually build the church with a forest perspective. And basically what that means is we build it so that it looks longer and taller than it really is. And moral's about yay high. Moral? Oral. Oral. <laughs> he's not called Menace, he's called Dennis. <laughs> we set up a motion control unit and did an eight foot push in, which will mimic God flying into Marlton. And then going closer. This is uh, the shot where we get in a little bit closer to the church here and the hand of God reaches in and grabs the steeple, pulls the roof off. Uh, Armani designed the sleeve. God demands the best designers. Here we see the hand of God pulling the roof off the church and we see smoke and particles and dust. This is a 3D element that we created and we composited it in. And keep going in all the way to Oral praying and then waving. We're going right in, we see we see Oral, our, our main character, and he's gonna wave, hello, hello God. Uh, this version, he's, he's doing waving, but I'm gonna do some other versions where he does uh, God is number one. The good thing is I'm sober right now, so I think it's gonna be okay. Usually it's good when I'm when I'm sober and my clothes are all on. A little Oral, our main uh, guy, uh, turns around and sees God and waves to him. <laughs> I thought it would be fun to show everyone how the show is kind of made through this fun ending where Oral's just in his room animating his Bible figurines. And then we cut to the actual animation and we see what he animated. And it's a different piece of animation uh, every show. And the great animators that we have are not animating the stuff that Oral is animating because they're way too good. Scott and I uh, were really excited about it because we did it as kids and we're animating it up in our office now. Here's more people. That's Andrew. Okay. Horribly interrupting the narrative. Yes. Uh, Rob sculpted that uh, little uh, figure of my daughter. <clears throat> it's going to be for my end production card. Of course, all you kids who bought the DVD will already know this. <laughs> She's going to say, Hello, goodbye. And then fly off. Hello, goodbye.